Police are on alert near the home and district offices of Long Island Congressman Andrew Garbarino. He and other Republicans were targeted after voting for the infrastructure bill. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports from Massapequa Park. On the streets of Massapequa Park, residents are abuzz over the stepped up patrols outside the offices of U.S. Representative Andrew Garbarino. We have received death threats. A, a specific person called the office and said they, they were going to kill me. We've also had people visiting the office, making scenes, banging on doors. Police arrested a retired LIRR employee from Lake Run, Konkoma, 64 year old Kenneth Gasper, charging him with aggravated harassment. He did not answer his door. A Trump 2024 flag waving from his tree. He used some profanity and then he made a threat and it went like this. If I see that mother effer in the street, I'm going to kill him. He said it's all linked to the infrastructure bill. House Republicans who voted for it are facing vicious backlash. Former President Trump lambasted them as rhinos. Republicans in name only should be ashamed of themselves. Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis received angry, insulting calls into her D.C. office, labeling her as a traitor. And a death threat to Representative Upton of Michigan. I hope your f***ing family dies. hope everybody your f***ing staff dies. You f***ing piece of Traitor. The rod breaks of Massapequa Park. They are supposed to be together. We are doing something for one nation. Garbarino told WCBS News Radio 880. What's frustrating is the anger, it's coming from the misinformation that's out there on this bill. When people say, oh, you gave the Democrats a win, I, I say, no, I gave my district a win. Many of the 13 Republicans who supported the infrastructure bill hail from crucial swing districts that the party must hold on to if it wants to reclaim the House in the next midterm election. Kenneth Gasper was released on his own recognizance. His lawyer said his client was offended by the vote and displaying his chagrin. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. The suspect has no prior arrest and was not in possession of any weapons. He was ordered to get a mental health evaluation.